We are Mike and Taylor, and these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. Four years ago, we sold our home and everything we owned, moved onto a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. This is the story of us making our way. Welcome back, friends. A few weeks ago, we sailed into Panama City. So far, we've spent our time here, enjoying the perks of marina life, exploring beautiful Old Town. We transit the Panama Canal tomorrow and getting ready to transit the Panama Canal. In our last episode, we welcomed my brother Jamie aboard and we pushed off the dock at 4 a.m. to pick up our canal advisors. And with the crew of seven people and two dogs aboard Via, we made our way into the locks as the sun came up and we said goodbye to the Pacific Ocean. Bye Pacific! Tied off to a tour boat, the chamber filled, and then up we went. It's crazy, man. Like, we're so high off of sea level already, and it's nuts that it's literally just those doors keeping us from a, t a tidal wave. And it's like this much. Of <laughs> so weird. Okay, we're pulling into the last of the first. Locks. The last of the Pacific side locks we're pulling into right now. So these guys are tied up against the wall there, and they're doing really all the work with the lines, and then we are tied to them, which is actually a pretty nice way to go through because we don't really have to do much because <laughs> uh, they're handling the wall. After going through all three Pacific side locks, by late morning, we were 85 feet above sea level and making our way across a continent, scheduled to arrive in the Atlantic Ocean by early evening. So we are in like the canal part of the canal now. Is this still the Culebra Cut considered? As we motored through the canal, we couldn't help but reflect on the monstrous effort that was undertaken over a hundred years ago in this very spot to cut a path through the continental divide, bringing a 360-foot mountain of rock down to 40 feet above sea level.
big yards of material was removed by placing 60 million pounds of dynamite in the bedrock, with over 6,000 men working night and day. It felt both exciting and a little haunting to take our home through such a historic landmark where so many lives were given to make the impossible possible. the jungle, a squall began to build up ahead. didn't slow us down. Mike kept driving us along as I headed down to the galley to prepare another meal for a crew of seven. And before we knew it, we were in the home stretch. Okay, canal transit update. <clears throat> we are now in Lake Gatun proper. We've been sort of entering a lake for a long time, but now we're really, now we're really, really in the kitchen. The rain stopped. We might get some more here soon, but for now it stopped. And we just had some lunch, fed the crew, and we're closing in on the Katoon lot. where we go down 85 feet back to sea level and we'll be in the Caribbean when we get through. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is going to be uh, different. We're going to be, we're not going to be tied to another boat. We're going to be center chamber. So we're going to have like lines to both walls and we're just going to be like suspended in the middle. And the crazy thing is this huge ship is going to come up like right behind us uh. and hopefully stop in time. But, <laughs> See the doors right there. Or we've actually been asked to stay away from the locks because they're filling it right now, and uh, there can be like significant like current like that sucks you in towards the uh, doors while they're doing that. So we're staying back a little bit and just waiting for this other tanker to come up. Um, but then they're gonna open the doors and we'll just pull right in. The canal workers threw four small messenger lines down to us, one for each corner. And each of our four designated line handlers had to catch it and fasten it to our rented blue lines with a quick bowline. Okay. Then, using the messenger lines, the workers slowly walked us forward into the chamber. coming in behind us though. Oh man. <laughs> Thank you. 
with our bow sitting right up against the doors of the first lock. The workers pulled in on the messenger lines so they could cleat us off while we held station and waited for the tanker to pull in behind us. Okay, now pull and secure. Okay, You can block it right now. Yeah. But you see, the ship's gonna take like a yeah. 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, but then when we get close, you untie. Okay, okay. Get yeah. standby, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look like the second gate kind of through the window. I think even, I think even you can just make out no, the I can like, see horizon you. of the. I see I boats. Even you. <laughs> I see boats, but I don't see ocean. Well, guess what? Those boats are. Not And then, when everyone was safely in position, it was time to go down. We slacked our blue lines as we dropped, and then, once the doors were open, we pulled all of our lines back in, and the workers used the messenger lines to walk us through to the next chamber, where we would repeat this process all over again. We waited for everyone to get into position. And then, as we began to drop again, we fed out line. And then, before we knew it, we were moving into our final lock of the Panama Canal. So this is the last lock before we enter the Caribbean and we've just been told that, wow, this is so crazy. We've just been told that there's a lot of current in this chamber. So we have to be careful.
hold on for patrol or no? No. No, no? Okay. I'm finished. Okay. The door is open. Yeah, okay. We prepared for strong currents and watched the doors open. And we pulled our lines back aboard Via. But now, we were untethered to the chamber walls entirely and free to drive ahead into the Atlantic Ocean. Ooh, we're in. Oh. As we passed under the massive Bridge of the Americas, we felt so lucky to have had such an incredible crew for our transit. Including our good cruiser friend, Peter. Two awesome advisors. Here you go. She doesn't know what's happening. She doesn't know. Who had made some furry new friends. our hired line handler who had transited the canal a staggering 1,300 times. You stay safe out there, okay? And was such a knowledgeable and warm addition to our day. Just another hour or so later, we were tucked into his slip in Shelter Bay Marina. It was a long day, but it was an incredible one. We had done it. We made it to the Caribbean. Well, we had a delicious breakfast this morning, celebrating 
our first day in the Caribbean and my brother flies out tomorrow so we're just kind of poking around the area around the marina and all the new like there kind of is some different it, just, it feels different actually you think it wouldn't be that different but it is and um, well my shoe gave out <laughs> no more no more so this is how we're going back And then it was time to say goodbye to our last crew member, my brother Jamie. Who was such a special addition to a day that none of us will ever forget. Bye Jamie. Be sure you hit subscribe. Because we have a truly spectacular season of Caribbean cruising coming your way. A boat just hit us. Oh, we suddenly had to pee so bad. <laughs> there he is. Isn't he magnificent? Wow. And ladies, he's single. Mm -mm 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 -mm.